All right, here's our um, test bed for a solar panel. It's not for the sake of having a solar panel, it's for how to mount it on my trailer for Burning Man. Hopefully there's enough light. You can see what I've done here. This is a piece of uh, Unistrut. Uh, Home Depot sells an equivalent called Super Strut. I got it, um, I got it from the uh, surplus dealer the other day. It was a lot cheaper, but in any case, there's a, where are we here? There's a lip here on the panel, and I want this, this um, solar panel to be captured so that it doesn't um, blow out. It needs to not come out, but be easy to assemble. So you can see that there's one screw in there, there's four. Uh, I'm not sure I got them all in on this one, but the idea is to have four because this is wood and my trailer is not wood. Believe it or not, the superstructure of my trailer is aluminum. So, um, anyway, I'll have to use self tapping screws and all that. They'll have to be flatheads. But anyway, um, this is what I came up with. And um, it assembles easily which since I have one hand holding the camera, I can't really lower it to show you, but this lip right here would obviously be straight down when you drop it in place and you tilt it up. The only thing I've noticed though is this back corner can get trapped on the lip that's in the back here and it'll actually start to bend this whole lip if you're not careful. So when you take this down, you have to slide this forward as you're rotating it and that's fine. But since this isn't going to be put up and down just but one time in a two-week period, then that's why it'll stay. So anyway, this is this is my prototype. So these are four-inch long pieces of Unistrut. Uh, I was lucky he had the stuff without the holes in it. Um, it's a hell of a lot heavier. I thought about doing this all the way across, but it, this stuff's incredibly heavy. God Almighty. So I'm going to just do, you know, these four inch sections and hang them that way. Um, this particular panel has, uh, these are Tyco connectors. Uh, they're not nearly as popular as the MC4s, but MC4s are cheap and they're made by everybody. So, all right, well, that's it for now for the prototype. We'll see, um, We'll see how it works. Oh, the angle of the panel. Um, right now it's at about 60 degrees. I raised it up a little from 50. 50 at Burning Man's about right. Um, uh, but 50 degrees, I can still lift this out. I can actually lift this out of the bracket. But at 60, I cannot. So I think it'll, the number, magic number will be 60. The other part, lest I forget, are the supports. They're just stuck in the ground for now. Uh, but what will have to happen is they will have to be anchored to the trailer with some kind of a uh, a U-bracket and then you put a bolt through the U-bracket or a pin or whatever and that way all the panel structures attach to the trailer. So if, if it moves, it'll all move together. It's not, you know, going to move relative to the ground. So um, the ground is flat out there, but it's not perfect. And these are actually made out of glass. So anyway... Um, I'm going to draw up some geometry on paper to see where um, these would hit the trailer at that angle because right now they're coming off the panel at 90 degrees. Um, now the way this anchors is I just stuck a nail in the top of the board. I don't know if you can see it in the shadows there, but um, uh, yeah, see the nail sticking up. <clears throat> So, uh, there should be two nails, one for this panel and then one for the panel that would theoretically be next to it. So I'm going to pull that nail out and redo that. Um, at Burning Man, obviously, it would have to be probably a, um, a bolt sticking up and then I drop a nut on it, perhaps. Um, they have those studs that have wood threads on one end and machine threads on the other, and I thought about using that. Um, if, in fact, I use a wood strut. I'm um, not sure what I'll use. One of the guys used um, 
uh, painter's poles that expand and stuff, but he only lifts his in the center of the in the center of the panel. My problem with that is I'm going to be in a windy area, and I really don't want to um, have to worry about it. So it can't be held just in the center of the panel. So I think this has worked out. I think this will be structurally sound. I could add, you know, if I had to, maybe add a one here in the middle. Um, but the trailer's strong enough. In fact, the tubing that would take the place of this wood header is the same dimension as the um, Unistrut. It's two inches square, stacked on top of two inches square. So if I hit one of them right in the middle with four screws and I use self-tapping and all that stuff, I think it'll uh, be plenty strong enough. Um, the place where this would get screwed on the trailer would be the um, where the drip rail is. Um, I'm not terribly worried about a drip rail burning man, but you know it does rain once in a while. It's pretty uncommon. So anyway, um, that's it. It's the prototype of the panel, and I guess the next phase is drawing up approximately how long these would be. Um, oh, and by the way, the the top of the trailer is nine foot two inches, and this is only probably six foot six. So I really can't mock it up here. But um, the geometry, the angles will all be about the same. So, all right, that's enough for now. See you, bye.